Yo, welcome to Legends of Soul, a new bit of content by Soulmate where we explore the successful careers of our favorite artists in the soul industry. Today, our focus is on Flowetry. So let's get into that. Flowetry was an English duo. You had Marsha Ambrosius, the songstress, and Natalie Stewart, also known as the Flow Assist. The group recorded two studio albums, one live album, and sold over 1.5 million records worldwide. Formed in 1997, Flowetry started on the performance poetry stage. They have worked with many musicians and artists, including Jill Scott, Queen Latifah, Michael Jackson, Common, The Roots, Bilal, and more founders of Neo Soul. Marsha Ambrosius and Natalie Stewart first met on the basketball courts in London. There, they quickly transitioned from rivals to friends, bonding over love for music and poetry. The first collaboration came when Ambrosius contacted Stewart about adding poetry to the chorus of a song she was working on called Fantasize. Stewart invited Ambrosius on stage to perform the song at her show a few months later. The connection was felt all throughout the venue with many people crying during the show. In 1997, the two began writing music together and constantly performed in music venues of London. After three years, the duo moved to the United States of America, first living in Atlanta, but later moving to Philadelphia, where much success was found. Now, anyone who knows about Philadelphia knows that that's a city that gave birth to a lot of dope neo soul artists. Um, I'm not sure if Neo Soul started there, but you know, there was definitely a Philly sound to Neo Soul. Since moving to the United States in 2000, they have written for Jill Scott, Jazz of Drew Hill, Glenn Lewis, Bilal, Michael Jackson, for whom Marsha penned the hit 2002 single, Butterflies. Now, anyone who knows about Butterflies knows that's a sweet, sweet song. I love that. One that Michael Jackson sung, and then another one that Flowetry sang as well. It was basically the same, but you know, different voices. Both of them were beautiful. Loved it. Now, in 2002, Flowetry signed with DreamWorks Records and released their debut album, Flowetic, which featured the singles Flowetic, Say Yes, which was released March 2003, and Getting Late. Now, Say Yes stayed on the Hot 100 Billboard charts for 20 weeks, peaking at number 24 on the 14th of June 2003. The album was also released in the UK with additional tracks, one of which features British singer-songwriter and producer Sebastian Rogers. Their song, Where's the Love, was featured in the film Bringing Down the House. Reviewers of the album praised Flowetry for their skillful writing, soulful sound infused with funk and R&B and representing the English R&B scene that was emerging. Flowetry released a live album titled Flowicism in 2003. The two disc set consisted of a CD and DVD and included the single Wanna Be Where You Are featuring the rapper Mostef. The duo began creating their second studio album shortly after the release of Flowicism. During summer of 2005, they began touring with the Sugarwater Festival. There, they opened for Jill Scott, Erica Badu, and Queen Latifah. Their third and final album, Flowology, was released in November 2005. The album debuted at number seven on the US Billboard Hot 200 and number two on the top R&B chart and sold over 77,000 copies in the first week. The album included the single Superstar, featuring Common. In 2006, Marsha Ambrosius signed a solo record deal with Aftermath Entertainment. In 2007, she released a mixtape entitled Neo Soul Is Dead. After the release of the mixtape, Ambrosius parted ways with Stuart. Stuart later went on to release an extended play entitled Spoken Soul, Volume 1. In November 2010, Stuart released her first solo album, Floetic Soul, on the Shanashai Records. In 2011, Ambrosius released her debut album, Late Nights and Early Mornings. I know about them, believe me. <laughs> and that was released on J Records. In November 2012, Stuart released her second album, Floetry Rebirth. And then in March 2014, 
Stewart released her third album, Rise of the Phoenix Mermaid. Later on that year in July, Ambrosius released her second album, Friends and Lovers. In December 2014, Stewart reunited with Ambrosius during Ambrosius' concert and performed Floetic at the Clapham Grand in London. In February 2015, Stewart confirmed that the duo would be touring later on that year. So on the 16th of May 2015, Floetry reunited and performed their first show in nine years at Pepsi Funk Festival in College Park, Georgia. Despite announcing they would be recording a new album, Floetry unfortunately split after the second leg of their reunion tour in August 2016, which is sad, but I do believe they both went on to do great things. Marsha is now a solo artist um, doing well in America and I believe the Flow Assist is now running poetry nights encouraging the emerging poetry scene in UK. She has many shows and I believe she was doing one in the Hideaway in Streatham in London. So big up, they've carried on their talent in different ways and they're both very talented people. We're just reminiscing right now because as Florici, they did make good music. It was a whole vibe, a whole new sound coming out of UK. I didn't even know that the UK could do Neo Soul like that the way they did it, you know? So if you haven't even heard of them, I encourage you to go do your research. Go listen to Floetry. Just type in Floetry in any of the social media channels or the digital platforms and listen to their music. It's very good. Anyway, thanks for watching or listening, however you decided to entertain yourself. And stay subscribed. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, subscribe right now and hit that notification bell because we're going to be exploring all these artists that featured in the neo soul scene especially i go by the name of solomon and i'll see you on the other side